Okay. Hi, William. How are you? I'm doing great. It's an honor to be with you. It really is. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Nice to have you here. And I see all of your books back there. How many of these Ricky's Trip books do you have? How many in the series? There are really seven, uh, plus um, uh, the American Revolution, uh, Colonial America was also done in Spanish because it deals with uh, 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 the um, Declaration of Independence. And then the new book is a combination of three of the books, uh, Ancient Egypt, Ancient Greece, and Ancient Rome. If, if you went into the website, poppresscom uh, all the books are there. The, the, you can uh, eyeball all the covers. According to your bio, it says that these books were inspired by your grandson. What, what did he do to inspire you to write all of these books? Well, l let me explain how it really happened. Okay. I, I, I never intended to do anything commercial. Um, I have a, had, up until two years ago, uh, a, a robust international career in uh, 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 tax preparation and uh, representing clients before the IRS. I didn't get to see my grandson too much because we lived about four hours away. So I wanted to do something for him that would be lasting. So what I decided to do was to write a book for him that he would be a hero in the book, uh, would build up his self-confidence, would show I love him, and because it's based on fact, um, he would learn something that he could take with him. And so I, I put together a book um, about traveling through outer space and visiting all the planets. And I made a loose leaf book out of it. There's a loose leaf book with okay. a picture of uh, uh, Ricky on the cover. And the name of it called Ricky's Dream Trip Through the Solar System. So I had the book on my desk um, during uh, uh, the tax preparation period. And one of my clients came in to have his taxes done. And while we were talking, he saw the book that was on my desk because I had just finished it. He said, what's that? And I said, well, it's a, something I wrote for my grandson. He said, well, could I see it? And I said, sure. So he looked at it for a while and he said, you know, I was about to tell you, but I just started up a company for self-published authors. And this book is great. And my wife is an elementary school teacher and she would love to uh, read this to her classes. So I agreed with him. I said, well, okay, I guess we can, why not? Uh, and he introduced me to a company called Fireman Creative out of Pittsburgh. And uh, uh, they're really a wonderful design team. And they took my story and breathed life into it with really fantastic artwork, and everybody loved it. So uh, the book was published, and uh, we handed it out to many of my clients and uh, educators or whatever, and it really, people really loved it. And it, it encouraged me uh, to uh, do another one. And um, I had been doing a lot of reading on uh, American history, uh, around that time. And so I, I, I came up with the idea, well, let's do a dream trip where we will visit Independence Hall in Philadelphia and meet with uh, the people who are uh, writing the Declaration of Independence. And, uh, uh, and of course, he was the center of attraction. We arrived there. Uh, John Adams spoke to him, and uh, uh, it turned out to be uh, a lot of fun. And uh, and, and uh, educators loved it. 
teachers put it into their lesson plan. It was just another way of showing my grandson that I loved him. And since he was a center of attraction, it built up his self-confidence, uh, which uh, was somewhat of a problem for him. And um, we were very excited about it because of the way people uh, reacted to it. And that's when I said, well, I guess if I'm going to become an author and be called an author, I got to write more than two books. So then I came up with the idea of uh, uh, writing uh, about ancient Rome and uh, ancient Greece and uh, ancient Egypt. And so uh, I, um, I did a lot of research and the, and the first new one, and you know, and by the way, uh, Douglas, he was seven years old when I wrote the first book. And the other books were like a year apart because I had a full-time career and I didn't, uh, had to be careful of my time. So anyway, uh, we, uh, we came up with Egypt and uh, I, I really did a lot of research. Egypt has a, a 6,000 year old history and I, I got to come up with a small piece of it that that uh, the children would enjoy, and uh, um, it wasn't too deep uh, in uh, in the historical perspective. And lo and behold, after all this reading, who jumps out of the page but Tutankhamun, King Tut? And uh, I said, "Well, that's our story." So. Um, uh, I appeared in my grandson's dream, and uh, uh, we traveled on dream horses uh, to um, uh, ancient Egypt, and uh, we met King Tut and uh, Nefertiti and uh, and and the young uh, young king who was not almost Richie's age. Um, he said, I'm so glad to see you. I, I, I can't find my cat. And, and you know, uh, in Egypt, cats are very important. And they even mummified them. So how uh, I put meaning into the book is we traveled all over Egypt, meeting priests and going to tombs and whatever. And by the end of the book, we still didn't find the cat. And uh, uh, Ricky was very apologetic that it was time for him to wake up and they had to go home. So uh, uh, King Tut accompanied uh, Ricky and Pop Up, his grandfather, uh, to the stable where the dream horses were being kept. And, uh, and who was there but his cat? And his cat had kittens. And that's how the, that story ended. Okay, is uh, the, the cat... I'm sorry to interrupt. Is the cat that you're referring to the gold one behind you? Yes, it is. Can, uh, can you see it? Yeah, yeah, we can see it. Yeah, that, that's a replica of, uh, uh, like I said, uh, Egypt has a great history of their love for cats. And uh, one of them, Isis, was even a goddess. Let me ask you something about the way the books are set up. Are they written in first person from Ricky's perspective? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, I really tried to build them up and make them uh, feel important. And um, I, I think if you get a chance to see some of them, uh, you'll probably agree with that. Uh, but they are very, very much first person. Okay. How old is he now? He just graduated from college. Would you? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what does he think of your books? Uh, he, he loves the idea of the amount of work that, w that he knew I was doing for them. And, um, and he also told me that one of the things that he's really happy about, that these books will last forever, and he will be able to share them uh, with his family as he gets older and gets married and has his own children. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. So you started this, uh, what, 10, 11 years ago, at least, yeah? 
Yeah, 2008, he was seven years old, yeah. Okay. And like I said, about once a year, uh, I was able to write them. And, um, and my publisher uh, decided that um, she wanted to take the three ancient world stories and put them into one book, which is why I'm speaking with you, because one uh, a book is larger and it's more saleable in bookstores. So uh, we'll see. Um, I, I, I didn't write them to sell them. I wrote them for my grandson. But if there's a residual benefit of a, a commercial aspect, I'll be very happy about that too. Okay, so what's the latest book called? The latest book? Well, the, the latest book is uh, Ricky's Dream Trip to the Ancient Worlds of Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Okay, so that's a compilation of some of the previous books? Of, of, of those three those books. Those three books. Are also, they're also separate books, too. Oh, I see. So, uh, okay. So I, t I told you about Egypt. For Greece, in their dream, they visit Aristotle and they ride Aristotle's, uh, Ricky rides Aristotle in an Olympic horse race. And guess who won? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me think. Ricky, did he win? <laughs> Good guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you had to be a hero. Oh, sure. And, uh, yeah. And and we met uh, Alexander the Great, and uh, who was at war with Persia, and it, it, it's a lot of history, and it's um, uh, easy to read and uh, a lot of fun. All right. William, we do have to wind this down. We are out of time, unfortunately. It just kind of flew right by. Uh, thank you so much. All the books are available where? Um, uh, Amazon. Okay. Uh, um, Barnes & Noble. Okay. Give out your website again, please. Sure. Pop Pop Press. P-O-P-P-O-P-P-R-E-S-S. -P -P -O -P -P -R -E -S -S dot com okay great uh, and and it, and in there there's another interview uh of me uh, uh w which is uh quite interesting all right well thank you so much for coming on the show it was nice meeting you and uh best of luck with the books you're gonna write more well i'm thinking of uh, uh possibly doing one about napoleon okay well, again, thanks for coming on the show. Best of luck. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It really is an honor.